Lights out, we're underway for the last time in the beer league competition of season number five. A good getaway from Alexander Kleng will try to keep him up into the race lead, but Chris Bright trying to battle beside him as we lunge into turn numbers one and two. Clank with the lead out of Castro, and he'll keep that lead all the way down into Rabbit's ear. I'm just keeping an eye on the back of the pack, trying to figure out where the wreck's going to come from. I mean, they were three, four wide all the way down the pit straight. Funnels down into turn one, has to get about too wide. And some people are still too wide coming up the hill now into turn three. Just hard racing throughout the field. We have not seen that big lap one incident. I cannot believe it. Not yet. There's a lot of potential, though, and I'm willing to bet it's going to be coming when we start to dive back down the hill out of the, uh, the balcony. And whoa, boy, well, one car. I believe that to be Brooks Quayton is way off in the background as he will be uh, – Truly off and uh, playing with some of the desert snakes out there. And he's not the only one. You, oh, you got a big pile of coming around turn three. So that's where your pileup happened on lap number one. Meanwhile, oh, here we go. Fourth and fifth getting turned. Four, five, six off, all at the same point on the racetrack. Combs, Tucker, McClendon, Klein. I mean, multiple guys off the racetrack coming up the hill. I mean, they're still scattering, trying to dodge everything. I mean, <laughs> it just looks like ants trying to fly through here. Adam Joseph Mielha will be the first driver to come in for a uh, full stop in his number 66 car. And just in the nick of time, as the safety car is deployed, that could cycle through the 66 car to the race lead now. Possibility is very much there. We'll see if it'll be the case. Green flag is up in the air. We are back underway from the Willow Springs Raceway. Tyler Augustino with the lead. And he'll hold that lead all the way down in the turn number one. Yeah, Augustino has pace. He's been quick all season long. Had a little bit of a mistake earlier in the race. Got spun around. But now finds himself in the race lead after that caution. He's got the track position, but he's got Chris Hannigan all over his quarter panel. Hannigan taking it to the outside of Tyler Augustino for the race lead up the hill. Not quite able to do it. He gets just a little bit of oversteer coming up around the crest. Has to let off, give the position back to Tyler Augustino. Taking that defensive line, that could open up the door for Hannigan, though, if he could try to get a good drive through Castro Corner. Up to Rabbits here, and he's going to go for it around the outside at turn two, and Hannigan is through to the point. And all the while, Klein, Combs, Vietnam. Whoa, Ben Williams spins it around, and also does uh, John Combs. Dupuy is off. Uh, sorry, Vietnam is off and into the grass as well. There's been a whole host of cars that suddenly go spinning off and uh, in tandem with one another. Here comes. Oh, our race leader, Chris Hannigan's off the racetrack. Spinning oh, off. Oh. He's lost multiple positions. He's behind pit road. He's right in the paddock area. He is just, oh. he's probably just uh, manslaughtered about all of the pit crews here. Is this going to come back out? That is absolutely going to be a penalty. There is no way. No handle on it whatsoever. It was bouncing, joyriding. I mean, look Ooh. at this thing bounce through the center of the corner off the curb. Just able to catch it enough to go down the back of pit road. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I've ever seen somebody throw, uh, oh, throw away a race like that. He tried to go. Uh, so he tried to cut it out uh, back on uh, through the pit wall. And we're, I want to look back at this one more time uh, to try to. God bless you. I was talking about the sided up car, but Crawford makes the pass as we're going to get a look back at Tanner Klein. Good call, by the way. That was Tanner Klein, it looked like, as he loops the back end. And oh, my. Oh, oh he monster trucked it up. Uh... The caution's out. The caution's out. Oh, are you kidding me? Four laps of action left in season number five of the Beer League. Green fly drops, we stack them up in the back, but we are good to go elsewhere as we fire it back down to Castle Turn. Yeah, Cofford waited until the absolute last second. Didn't really give him that big of an advantage, though. Eric Ronenberg was able to get a good jump, did not lose any ground to Alex Cofford. Now Cofford has to shallow up that entry into turn two just a little bit. Ronenberg with a better angle of entry coming into the corner, able to wrap the bottom of the racetrack really, really good behind uh, Alex Cofford. But, man, they're battling further back in the pack. Multiple drivers off. Castro involved. Condi involved. Oh, multiple drivers up the hill getting taken out. Dupuy. But, man, he's got to keep it steady through this next section. This is the toughest part of the racetrack. I'm an uphill right here. Trying to just reel in our race leader of Alex Coffer. Well, looking back to the battle for third as well between Austin Tucker and Chris Bright. 
Just behind them, Josh Freed, Alexander Clank side by side for fifth and sixth as well. A lot of drivers still trying to fight it out for the final podium positions. Right around the outside, and he will have the inside now for the Budweiser balcony. And it's looking like that might be the way of Bryant. But here comes Tucker, still fighting that back around the top, not willing to let third place go. And I think Bryant might have it here, though, through the Monroe Ridge. Tight battle for the final podium position. Austin Tucker, Chris Bright giving it everything they got, trying to get on to the podium for the last race of the season. And he will swing his way through turn number nine as one more corner to negotiate as he will send it in deep. And for Alex Crawford, he will take the glory of the final race win of season number five from the Beer League. Meanwhile, you look further in the background when Carver takes the checkered flag because it is Giovanni Romano to take that Porsche Mission or Mustang to a championship.